This video was made possible by Skillshare. Get your first two months free by following the link down in the description. If you were like me last Sunday, it was really hard to see what was going on in Game of Thrones. And when I say really hard, I mean it was borderline impossible. There was literally no setting on my TV that made the image look better. In fact, most made it actually look worse. From this behind the scenes shot, the set looks well lit. They made an artistic choice to make the episode so dark, but this highlighted a few limitations which ultimately destroyed the presentation, and here's why. Number 1. Dynamic Range When the film is delivered to the coloring suite or the mastering suite, it looks like this. It's flat, but this flatness is what preserves the detail. One of the jobs of the colorist is to add color and depth back into the image, but they're limited by dynamic range. For most televisions, you may be able to achieve approximately 500 nits of brightness with a 0.5 nit black point if you're really lucky for a contrast ratio of about 1000 to 1. That gives you about 10 stops of dynamic range. The Alexa that is used to shoot Game of Thrones can capture 14.1 stops of dynamic range. That means the colorist needed to decide where they want to preserve the detail and where they're going to clip the image. It's sort of like a sliding scale. They can't show it all. If you notice in most scenes with the fire, the detail is very well preserved in the flame, whereas if they chose to show more detail in the dark portions, the flames would have been blown out. This is made worse because they are likely using a reference monitor, which may have a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio or greater, which is nearly 20 stops at dynamic range. Even when this display is limited, it performs so well that the lower tone details are accurately preserved and visible. That detail is there in the final deliverable, even if you can't see it on your TV. Which brings us to number two, your TV sucks. When the directors and cinematographers were criticized by how dark the episode was, they blamed your TV and your viewing conditions. They aren't completely wrong. In fact, they're about half wrong or half right. There are two problems with your TV. First, it's likely an LCD. And the second, it doesn't have a very good image processor. LCD TVs have a backlight and that backlight bleeds often unevenly. That means the image is uneven. So contrast ratio here, is going to be maybe a thousand to one whereas over here it's probably more like 500. even worse like dynamic range when you raise the brightness of your tv you're actually pulling up the black point as well meaning you're essentially erasing any of the low level detail for more definition in the lower to mid tones while also highlighting any noise this probably wasn't the solution you were looking for number three you basically have night vision the director and cinematographers chose to color this episode with what they call natural lighting and for the most part, it was about as dark as it should have been. But our eyes are much better than the cameras that capture these images, much, much better than the monitors they use to color on, and much, much, much better than the TVs that people have in their living room. Our eyes were meant to see in the dark, which is why you're able to see the differences between the tones in the black much more than you can see the tones in the bright whites. It was beneficial to see a lion in the grass at night. It's not so useful to see the difference between two very bright light bulbs. So you might be asking, if I'm so good at seeing in the dark, why can't I see what's going on in the episode? Well, you are, but that takes us to our final point, video compression. In this episode, there was a ton of both snow and smoke both of which absolutely destroy any sort of compression algorithms. HBO video streams at about five megabits per second. This is the number one reason why episode three looks so bad. Considering a Blu-ray 4K playback is around 128 megabits per second, something's gotta give. In this case, we're only getting about 4% of the data as a Blu-ray. I mean, come on HBO, this straight up looks like a water painting. It introduced compression artifacts that highlighted the banding and essentially eliminated any of the fine details in the shadows and lower tones, which is exactly where most of this episode's key moments take place. Here's a shot from another episode that was shot maybe in the mid to late afternoon, and the compression does so much better with this. In fact, I would say this is a pretty decent presentation. I wouldn't mind viewing every episode if it had this level of detail. Now, this is why I say the director was half right. Yes, my TV sucks. Yes, my vision is too good, so I see all the details and blotchiness and the dark tones. But you knew this already. This is the reality, and it's been like this for a long time. So please, don't color your film so dark, and double please ask HBO to increase their stream quality. I'll fix my TV. Please fix the other two. Okay, let's pause for a second to talk about our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you could join the classes and communities that are just right for you, like this one on motion design by Kurtz Gazette. When you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. Skillshare is also more affordable than other learning platforms. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. 
Join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. The first 500 of my subscribers to use the link down in the description will get a two month free trial. Anyways, thanks for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So there's a lot of things that really impact the image quality that you see at home. Obviously the stream bit rate is a big one, but also the content that it's actually compressing. A lot of snow and dust really puts a lot of stress on the system, not to mention the hardware that you view it on, the hardware that they master it on, and just that your eyes were designed to spot tone differences in dark areas. You're literally seeing the worst part of the image in the highest detail. But what can you do as a home viewer? It's pretty simple. Not necessarily cheap, but it is simple. I'd pick up an LG OLED 55 inch HDR TV. It's what they use to master the content in for home reference viewing. And for the love of God, turn your lights off. Please, just turn your lights off.